Guys, the Charmed reboot is out and the results are in. It fucking sucked. Hi guys, it's Sarah from Book Nerds and Fangirls and today I thought I'd do something a little different different from my TV reviews. I was do I'm a huge fan of doing versus, like, book versus movie, TV show versus movie, but I've never actually got to do a TV show versus TV show before. Before. So, today I thought I would sit down and watch the original Charmed, since it's been forever since I've seen it. Seen it. Me and my sister used to watch this whenever we were kids. Kids. And I remember it being good, but it wasn't a show that, like, legitimately interested me, interested me. So, I went back, because Charmed is on Netflix. Netflix, and it's been on Netflix for a while. So, I thought, hey, I might as well... Watch Charms, the new reboot is coming out. Coming out. It probably wouldn't be a good review if I didn't first rewatch the first episode, so I have that pedestal to put the other one up to. Up to, so I have an expectation versus reality, as you will. As you will. And it is sad whenever a reboot that is set in 2018, we have so much stuff that you could do with television and movies nowadays. It's really sad when something that was made in 1998 has better visual effects and better storylines. Storylines and character devices than something that is made in 2018 and looks like a cheap piece of shit. <laughs> shit. No offense to the CW. I love the CW. The CW makes a lot of great shows, but they also make a lot of shows that aren't that great. And this is one of them. Love them. And I actually think. That Charmed used to be on the CW, too, like the original one. I would have to look. Don't quote me on that. I think it was at least on the WB, which it was owned by the, was owned by the CW. Like, it became the CW. So, you think a show that originated from this company that's still going on today... Today, it just changed its name and its ownership... Ownership would do good with the reboot because they've actually been there. But no, it does little. Well, in the way of actually respecting the original or getting the original story. Story, it's uh, roots. Which I'll talk about here in a minute. As for things I liked about it. There are very few things I liked about it. I actually didn't like anything about it, actually. Actually, I think I really hated this reboot. Like, I don't hate things because it's a very passionate word. Word, but this was awful compared to the original. The original, I watched the first episode first because, you know, I wanted to give the new reboot a chance. A chance to, you know, shine. shine. And I really wish I would have watched the reboot first so I could, you know, have something great waiting for me. For me, after I watched that god awful 2018 one. 18 one. There's just so many things that they get wrong about the reboot. First of all, Respecting the characters that you're given. These three don't remind me in any way, shape, or form what Piper, Phoebe, and Prue were. Were I get that that they wanted to modernize the names, the names because Piper, Phoebe, and Prue aren't really that popular anymore. 
But for the love of God, if you're gonna make a remake and you're not gonna stick to the original characters, characters, just make a different story. Story, like make him the daughters of the charmed ones. Charmed ones, make a separate story of its own. Oh no, there is just so many things that are wrong about this reboot. Reboot. First of all, let's deconstruct the beginning of 2018's Charmed. Now this one starts off of like a girl sneaking down a hallway. Oh, and then her sister pops out, and then we figure out these are two of the Charmed ones. Charmed ones, unlike in the original when it's just a witch. A witch performing a seance or whatever. It wasn't even a seance. I think it was a ritual. Performing a ritual to, for protection in her house. <laughs> in her house whenever the pe person that's killing people. People actually killed people. Killed people. That's another thing that 2018 go wrong. There's no like investigation into the murders. Murders of these witches. Which is like their mom died and the police just like rule it out as an accident. Accident, which, uh, you know, I get it somewhat, but at least we get to like, you know, see from the perspective of the investigators. That and with this new reboot of Charms, they're college students instead of adults like they were in the original, and I get it. You want to cater to an audience you thought you were making this for. For, but my god, do they have to be so vapid. Vapid. It's just like, oh my god. Like, these characters are the worst. <laughs> the worst. They are very, uh, cliche, as I p must put it. It seems like there's not a lot of depth to them. To them, it seems like they were really trying to make them different and stand outish, but instead they follow stereotypes. And I mean, like, stereotypes. Like, I am a huge supporter of the LGBT community, I'm a huge supporter of feminism and all that, but my god. And then, like, and if you want to be a sorority, that's your choice. And then, girls could be smart. Smart also. Like, this is very, like, feminist and stuff. But it pushes it to the part where it seems like it's through the point of view of someone who doesn't know what feminism is. Is and takes it more to an extreme part of feminism. If that makes sense. I know I might have people in the comments come at me for that, and I apologize, this is just my opinion, but it seems like they tried so hard to make it different that it just turned into a walking, talking cliche. Speaking of walking, talking cliches, this is like, oh my god. Oh my god. Can we talk about how horrible the CGI is in this? Even the Vampire Diary, which debuted in, I think, 2009, has better CGI than this fucking piece of shit right here. Here. Like, I love the Vampire Diaries, and they also did the subtle crow thing. Crow thing. But whenever it's done here, it's like, you know it was CGI. In the Vampire Diaries, it actually looks somewhat realistic. Realistic, and that's how you could tell a shitty production team from a good production team. <laughs> this one just, like, seemed like a really low budget, like, not even B films, because I see B films that are, like, great, but this production is just awful. <laughs> I was really watching this, and if I didn't have to do a review, want to do a review for it, I would have clicked off within 10 minutes because I couldn't stand this piece of shit. 
shit, but I did. I held it out. I tried. I really did. And the jokes. Oh my god. They try so hard to be funny in this one. So hard. And none of the jokes resonate. They always fall flat. Fall flat. They seem horribly out of place. The CGI is bad. The acting is bad also. Oh my god, the acting. Like, I don't know these girls as actresses, but it just seems like you don't have really a star there. Even whenever it comes to, like, getting the characters and their professions right, right? Like, I don't care. Like, I care that Maggie's a scientist, and that's awesome. Awesome. But whenever you compare Maggie to, say, her counterpart, Prue, because I think Maggie and Prue are supposed to be... Actually, no. The one who could levitate stuff was... Was it Prue that could levitate stuff? Yeah, I think it was Prue. Prue that could levitate stuff, and had the telekinesis. So whenever you're trying to, like, compare Maggie to Prue, it just doesn't hold up because Prue, whenever we see her in the first episode, she is holding up her company. She's holding up her boss. Her boss. And he's taking credit for something that she's done. Also happens to be her ex, but that's beside the point. <laughs> beside the point. But this girl... Even with the profession that she has, has in the time that she had, she was strong, and she had a mind of her own, and whenever that bullshit happened, she quit because she wasn't going to put up with that. So whenever you uh, compare Prue to Maggie, who is also supposed to have this take charge attitude, attitude also. Also, I don't know who's supposed to be Prue. Is Maggie supposed to be Prue? Or is the other sister supposed to be Prue? Because Prue also had that whole anger thing and her power's only working when she's angry or not angry. I think Maggie was the one who had telekinesis. I don't know. This was such a shitstorm. I couldn't tell. So they are trying to mix characteristics of the characters which is fine, but at the same time, if you're making a de homage to something, or if you're remaking something, you have to at least take a nod to do a nod to the original, which it didn't happen here. It fell flat. It was truly, for me, just a money grab. Grab for the people who actually liked Charm. Charmed. I didn't like any of it, actually. They even rip off other shows. Shows, like, there's this scene, and they're dealing with the warlock who has killed their mother. Their mother? Which, by the way, I don't think they deal with the warlock who killed their mother until, like, the end of season one, maybe? I'm not, I don't remember. Remember, the first demon they decided to kill in the original Charmed was someone who was just killing off all the witches. Which is because they wanted their power. Power, but this one, they kill off the person who killed their mother at, like, first episode. And I'm just over here, like, if you're going to take source material from a show, from a book, from a play, from anything, the one thing you have to learn is to respect it. Respect it do nods. Nods. There are a lot of shows that do this, and a lot of shows that cannot compute that you have fans of the original. Original, and you're not... It's like you didn't even watch your source material. It's like you looked up the Wikia page. Page for Charmed, and you were like, oh, I could do this reboot without first... Even, like, looking at the original. Original. If you're a fan of the original, that's sad. I don't know who directs this. They did a terrible job. Job. Everything is just terrible. It's not the worst piece of shit I've seen, but it's definitely a piece of shit. Shit. Also, taking inspiration from other shows, did anyone and not 
think that the guy, guy, the demon who killed their mother looked like the Night King from Game of Thrones. Literally, it's like they took, like, the CG, the Snapchat filter of the Night King from Game of Thrones, or the Facebook filter from Game of Thrones, and threw it on the actor, because, you know, why actually predict? pay for practical makeup and effects when we could just throw this piece of cheap as shit on him and make him look exactly like the Night King who needs to find an original concept who concept for a monster that people haven't seen before for who needs that we could just take material from other things and make it our own our own and ugh, it annoyed me pissed me off so much much whoever made this remake should get fired <laughs> honestly it's just it's the worst worst and what makes me mad is that I was actually looking forward to doing the series like TV show versus TV show but I don't know if I could deal with the cast in this one my god I think the only actress I liked somewhat was Maggie's actors actors it was just it was bad it was really bad and the characters are so cliche cliche like this director or this screen writer whoever wrote this piece of shit needs to go back back to school to learn how to write effective characters Characters that talk realistically because it's just like, it doesn't resonate. Oh my god. Like that one scene when she was talking about, I can change my mind whenever I want to. That's a good line. But whenever she kicks him off and she's like, oh my god, Pilates. I'm all like, that was the dumbest line in this fucking script. Who the fuck says that out loud? Was it, f was it there to be funny? It wasn't funny. <laughs> Funny, the funniest thing about this is they actually thought this was a good remake. Why the CW bought this piece of shit and put it put it in a slot? Like, good thing that it's on Sundays, because a lot of people don't watch shows on Sundays. So, I think CW bought it and knew it was going to fail straight off the bat, so he put it on, they put it on, like, the worst day of television in the world, <laughs> world, and I hope this piece of shit gets cancelled. Okay, so there you guys have it, that was my rant review for Charmed, the new season. If you want to watch Charmed, skip this piece of shit, go to Netflix and watch the original, it is ten times better, with better character development, better effects, and better storylines than this show all together together and now that i'm done ranting i will let you guys go and i will see you in my next video bye